Hi, welcome to the Michael Alert for Tuesday, the 14th of May 2019. So yesterday in the pound, market trading down to the 200 bar moving average. This seems to be a feature of today's market alert, no matter what the market. You can see their price is trading down to this level and then finding support. Hold this uh, picture and thoughts uh, as we move through the market alert. And in the 15 minute chart, uh, we see the market breaking above here, finding support here. And then once uh, we broke here, the pound moving lower. On uh, trade news, dollar news, etc., with uh, China. And speaking of news, what have we got today? We've got uh, average earnings index three month from the UK. And that's the only news you've got. Moving along to the Dow, we'll come back to uh, Bitcoin in just a moment. Again, 200 bar moving average. Uh, market sailed through this yesterday with selling and is now banging its head against this as it tries to return. Also notice that the market uh, traded down to uh, 25214 where we saw a retracement uh, after the December low and early year low if we just move this across it you can see there the market uh, moving higher as a pullback moves higher stops at 76 percent uh, from this high to this low and then we get another one to here before the market then uh, moved higher so an important area you see there at the moment the market are holding at this level but watch the 200 bar moving average and trust me, they're going to do everything they can to bring the market back above this level. As uh, in this article here, Dow blows through key levels uh, down 700 as yield curve reinverts. And um, when we look inside of this, uh, you'll see there the market, uh, that's the chart we've just seen. There's the market going through the 200 bar and 100 bar moving average and uh, the yield curve inverting once more, which is not good news. I mean, this is more or less saying that uh, going down the line, recession is guaranteed and all of the uh, things that um, Trump is doing as well with China isn't going to help at all. And the implied volatility up yesterday, which you would expect, uh, we still got to go uh, above the 20% yet. So there's still more on the downside looking at this. Uh, in isolation and again it's a matter of bouncing today how far the market bounces back there's no news today Trump and uh, Mnuchin are going to do their best to uh, keep this market uh, moving to the upside and uh, uh, stocks are crashing even as 2019 rate cut a surge above 100% the other week I was talking about Trump asking for a 1% decrease in interest rates and QE4 well, even though there's a prospect of that, and only a prospect, uh, the market's still uh, moving lower there. There was another article I was after. Uh, I think it's uh, on here. Yeah, here we go. Trump and Mnuchin failed to spark meaningful bounce in stocks. Uh, they tried their best, but it uh, didn't work. But overnight, uh, the market uh, finding that bit of support here. And if you look in the five minute chart, you will see the buying coming into the market and prices uh, closing back above the 200 bar moving average. Here's the spark back. Uh, and again, this was uh, something that Trump sent out uh, that uh, sparked this move uh, in the early hours. You need to close above the DP level in order to move higher. But keep an eye on the 200 bar moving average in the daily chart. That's the uh, the crucial one i'll just delete a few of these tidy up the chart so we can uh, see where we've got uh, some resistance that's a bit cleaner to to see there and then finally uh, bitcoin well there was no stopping it yesterday and as i warned in the alert about uh, entry prices being close to the 200 bar moving average the market did break uh, and then found a reversal with a buy and this short here you can see how it sat on the 200 bar moving average so be aware that um, there's the potential for a market given the background of this market now if you look at the daily chart where it's exploding to the upside 
to actually go short with an entry point that is sitting on the 200 bar moving average at uh, this stage is likely to fail. And the way to trade it is to uh, see if the market breaks through sharply and then comes back, sits on the 200 bar, and then you get a signal that's actually below it. So let the market uh, tell you there. Something that I've observed in the last uh, 12 months uh, with the 200 bar moving average and something that I want to actually program and I'm just trying to define uh, the rules so uh, and as an observation just keep this uh, in mind and there you can see the buy side and then a big shoot to the upside we've had some profit taking on the overnight and given the size of this move we are due for some sort of uh, profit taking in this market how much and for how long is the question uh, but certainly uh, some uh, required as you saw here but it didn't take long for the market to uh, bounce back there 76 percent retracement from this high to uh, this low is going to pick off both of these areas for uh, this at the moment and in the news as far as bitcoin is concerned if we just uh, scroll back as uh, you see here, Bitcoin rally exposes central bank uh, weakness. Central banks uh, stand exposed as having no answers for the continued deflation and collapse of money velocity. A decade of QE and zero bound or negative interest rates were supposed to cure. And they haven't. And I've spoken about this dozens of times. Uh, what they did with printing all of this money is just sent... Uh, the problem further down the line um, in fact i think there's an article above here that talks uh, about this if i can just uh, find it never find them when you want them let's just go back one okay so here's the headline and uh, you can see there uh, gold bitcoin and the gigantic global debt bubble and uh, that's the, the issue here, this uh, gigantic uh, debt bubble that has been allowed uh, to just grow and grow and grow. And at some point, the uh, chickens will come home to roost with regards to this. We can't give any particular date, uh, but uh, there's no doubts about it at some point. So uh, interesting uh, to see this here and obviously gold uh, moving higher yesterday as well. And uh, also... Uh, uh, Bitcoin seems to be uh, no stopping it at the moment to the upside as well. Okay, slow news day today, so the market's likely to continue in the direction that they have been unless uh, Trump gets out on Twitter and accelerates the market back to the upside, but we'll just have to wait and uh, see there. Okay, that will do it for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.